So, hey students, welcome to NCRT Solutions by Vedantu 11th and 12th, where we find solution to all the questions which is given in your NCRT for all the chapters and all the subject, so that your exam ready. This is Baswaraj, I'm a biology master teacher. Now, let's look at a question from your chapter, human reproduction. The question says, said, let me change the color, the question says, the question says, draw a labeled diagram and section through the ovary for your convenience. For my convenience, I have a diagram here. I have a diagram of the ovary which is given in your NCRT. Let's decode it. Now, if you look at the structure of the ovary, we know the ovary is present on the left as well as the right. This is a section of any one of them. So, let's just assume this is a section of the ovary which is present towards your right side. This is a section of the ovary which is present towards the right hand side. Now, if you look closely at the structure of the ovary, we have primary follicle. Let me change the color. Primary follicle. Now, what is primary follicle? Primary follicle is nothing but nothing but primary oocyte primary oocyte one second primary oocyte plus layers of granulosa cells layers single layer of granulosa cells so primary oocyte plus a layer of granulosa cells is your primary follicle now this primary follicle right the primary follicle starts to accumulate more layers of granulosa cells if a primary layer accumulates or it gets covered by more granulosa cells, it transforms into secondary follicle. This right here is a secondary follicle. Secondary follicle. And in case of secondary follicle, you can also see a formation of a new theca. You can also see a formation of new theca here. Now, the secondary follicle. A secondary follicle transforms into tertiary follicle. The secondary follicle transform into tertiary follicle. Now, here you need to know the important characteristics of your tertiary follicle. The first, the first one is the fluid filled cavity. The first one is the fluid filled cavity known as antrum. A fluid filled cavity called as antrum is a characteristic feature of your tertiary follicle. Along with that, along with that, the theca, the theca here now gets differentiated into theca interna and theca externa clear now graphene follicle then sorry the tertiary follicle then develops into graphene follicle this is the holy mother that is the amazing graphene follicle this graphene follicle is the most advanced type of follicle in the in, in the structure of the ovary now graphene follicle graphene follicle here inside the graphene follicle we have the secondary oocyte secondary oocyte even in the case of a tertiary follicle, we have secondary oocyte. But in the case of primary follicle and secondary follicle, we have what? We have primary oocyte. This is a very important point with respect to your boards and also with respect to your need. So remember, in case of your primary follicle, in the case of your primary follicle as well as secondary follicle, inside that we will have what? We will have primary oocyte but in the case of tertiary follicle and in the case of your graphene follicle we have secondary oocyte the secondary oocyte becomes ovum later on that is after the second meiosis which results in the formation of ovum the same ovum ovum which will be released the ovum which will be released by the rupturing of the graphene follicle and the process is known as ovulation ovulation and a very important question here ovulation happens on the 14th day of menstrual cycle because of the LH surge because of the LH surge with surge which is happening because increased levels of LH at the 14th day that's when the ovulation happens that's when the ovum is released from the graphene follicle by rupturing it but what happens to the remaining what happens to the remaining of the graphene follicle the remaining of the graphene follicle turns into corpus luteum and the same corpus luteum has an extremely important role that is production of progesterone and the produ produced progesterone maintains the endometrium endometrium for the implantation and once the LH is dropped once the LH is dropped the corpus luteum degenerates if corpus luteum degenerates progesterone levels go down if progesterone level goes down what happens the endometrium gets disrupted. If endometrium is destroyed, bleeding happens and that's how menstruation takes place. 
I just explained to you menstruation and also the structure of the ovary all together. So if you like the content, if you like the concept, how we connect things, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you do not want to miss any of the content on this channel, until next time.